so my last housemate left uh, all of a sudden, but fortunately through my work, uh, a position came up in Los Angeles, so I needed to find a new uh, housemate. Hello. The Grandmaster was the only one who answered my Craigslist ad. <laughs> Imagine that. I was the only one. Well, lucky me. At first I thought he was just another Hollywood type person. Then I realized he was more than likely from another planet. I like learning about your culture. What do you call this? Toast. Yes. I come from Sakaar. It's a haven for lost things. That sounds kind of poetic, but it's really kind of a catch-all place. And uh, now, without boring you with the details, I had formerly, and for a rather long period of time, um, a, uh, an assistant slash bodyguard named Topaz. Uh, and uh, now, uh, you know, I'm looking for a new assistant, and you know who seems to fit the bill just perfectly, believe it or not, is Daryl. He's starting to make me dress up in Topaz's armor. Um, he's getting me to do a lot of things for him do the dishes, drive him around, and I also do his laundry. He says he's over one million years old, which I find hard to believe because he acts quite young, almost immature. He is a really nice guy. It's the first wow, thing I noticed about him. He's very that. charming oh. and persuasive, uh, but sometimes he uh, completely loses his temper. Damn it, God damn it! I don't do this for everybody, but I'm going to share with you some of the drawings that I've made here in uh, Daryl's house. They're all of Daryl. Now watch this. So here's the first one. I gave him an extra long tie. Tiggle, tiggle, tiggle. This is Daryl on a horse. Always so happy. And uh, the horse has my face. Did you notice? That's also Daryl as a crying cyclops. Oh my golly. Well, <laughs> look at this. Here's Daryl. Asleep right there. And of course, he's dreaming about me. My eye fell upon him, and then I kind of knew it right away. He's kind of like my muse. He, he, just, he just interests me strangely. What am I working on at the moment? Well, um, <clears throat> I, you know, I'm fixing to, to uh, move in on this new planet. Now, I've, I've kind of taken a liking to it, so I'm going to rule uh, Earth. Uh, lately, he started talking about taking over Earth. I'm not sure how he would go about starting to take over Earth, but we made a video. Peoples of planet Earth, my name is Grandmaster, and I'm uh, about to become your ruler. Those who resist me, let me say, uh, will become uh, melted. This is my melting stick. Yeah, if people displease me, I can melt them. How many How many uh, views have we got now? One. One? That's not bad. But that's just us, because we're uh, watching it. Maybe you need to refresh the, uh, refresh the window. OK. OK. And how many views do we have now? Now we've got two. Ah, good, good, two. So we're, we're uh, now nah, we're in business. But that second one is us, too. We've seen it twice. We might need to make a, another video advertising the original video. You know anybody who could play uh, music? Some of your some of your work friends from the top. Ready? Three, four. <laughs> noop, noop, noop. Wow, David, <laughs> why are you playing a, a, a Zimbledorp when I'm? We're obviously doing a Zets. Why? Why are you doing that? I don't know what that is. All right, from, from the top, one, two, one, two, three. I don't want to go to sleep without clearing up a few things, OK? I want to apologize for melting David. We might want to call his parents and just yes. let them know. Uh, I guess I should be the one to call. But can we practice what practice we're going to say? Practice calling Mrs. Richardson? Yeah, yeah. OK, ring, 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 ring. Hello? Hello, who's this? Uh, this is uh, Mrs. Richardson. Oh, Mrs. Richardson. I'm not sure if that's the best way to start. Well, let's see what happens. You try to channel her, uh, Mrs. Richardson. Uh, uh, how are you, Mrs. Richardson? You can call me Grandmaster. Mrs. Richardson, what are you wearing? I'm just wearing a nightgown. Oh, you've got to be kidding. What color? Uh, blue. Oh, that's my favorite color. Mrs. Richardson, David's melted. 
So you may be wondering what uh, will become of Daryl when I take over this planet. Well, he's going to um, uh, rule beside me. Well, he's going to stand beside me. I'm not going to rule. I'm going to be ruling, but he's going to he's going to be standing beside me. And I don't like saying this, but you look at him and he stares right back at you, and I can't tell if he wants to just hang out or melt me. I love you, Daryl. Uh, do you have anything to say to that? I love you too. I didn't force him to say that. Um, that warms me terrifically. Thank you. I think I never thought I'd say this, but I'm really beginning to miss my old housemate. 